Howdy folks and welcome. It's Creepy Kentucky and here with you guys from deadpit.com. Once again, taking a look at a brand new release from our buddies over at Arrow Video, a new limited edition 4K just came out this week. American Werewolf in London, directed by the legendary John Landis, who we have met, talked to, great guy, very funny guy, is on at all times. This is kind of the, the genre movie that made him a master of horror. He was a part of the Masters of Horror series on Showtime. And this is an all-time classic, An American Werewolf in London. One of those movies that up until Arrow got a hold of it, I don't think it got proper justice on home video. They did a limited edition Blu-ray version of this as well um, back a few years ago. And I did not have the pleasure of picking that up. But I'm glad to take a look at this one and go through the movie. It's the first time I've seen the movie in quite a few years. For anybody that doesn't know, An American Werewolf in London was a movie that John Landis had wrote almost a decade earlier uh, after his debut uh, low-budget film Schlock. This is his dream project. I mean, he, of course, before An American Werewolf did some comedy movies, you know, Kentucky Fried Movie and Animal House, stuff like that. But this was his project, man. He was a big genre fan and wanted to do something kind of like old school, but with some new, you know, it's set in London. It's got some gothic elements, I guess, from like old school horror, but with some crazy, awesome, still to this day, makeup effects from the legendary Rick Baker. The movie itself stars Griffin Dunn and David Naughton, who are American backpackers traveling Europe. In London in particular, they make their way to a small pub called the Slaughtered Lamb. They're really not made very welcome by the patrons of the bar. And on their way out, they're warned to stay on the main road, beware the moon. And of course, do they listen? They go off the beaten path, and before you know it, Jack, which is Griffin Dunn's character, is attacked, maimed, and taken out by a beast of some sort, right? And David Naughton's character, named David, that's good, is injured from said beast. He survives and is in the hospital. They are taking care of his wounds, but something's not right with David. Okay. He starts going through changes. All the while he meets up with this sexy European nurse. They kind of have a relationship going there. And more people start to be taken out. Is David the werewolf? There's not really much of a secret there. I mean, he's visited by the zombie of Jack. And is like, the only option is you need to kill yourself. Take yourself out. You are marked. You are a werewolf, sir. So every full moon, you're going to be running out and about and killing some people. Some comedy elements in it. Some horror elements. I think a little bit more horror than comedy. The movie does have an insane climax at the Piccadilly Circus in downtown London. Very well shot. It's a great movie, guys. I mean, I'm not a huge werewolf genre fan. I was actually asking some of the members of our Facebook page, what would you say would be your favorite of the entire werewolf subgenre of horror? A lot of them were saying this particular movie here. John Landis' American Werewolf in London. This is a killer edition. This is on 4K, if I didn't mention that before, HDR which Arrow is, of all the studios, I think they are doing the most in the, in 4K at this point, which is really cool. This film right here really put Landis's name out there. Also put Rick Baker's name out there even more. The special effects and makeup and all that is astonishing. Even in 4K, 40 years later. It's ridiculous. Rick Baker's skills... Just amazing. The 4K of this looks really good as well. Uh, this is the ultimate version of an American Werewolf in London. If you're a huge fan of this film, you'll definitely want to purchase this thing. Uh, it just came out from Arrow Video, and it's loaded with special features, including two 
feature length documentaries, commentaries, interviews. There's tons of stuff on here. I'm gonna take a photo of the back of the case so you guys can check it out. It's insane the amount of extra stuff that's on this edition here. This is a limited edition. And for anybody that knows Arrow Video and just the craziness that they put into these releases, you'll know that you've got some extra stuff inside this box too. Let's take a look at it. First up is the actual 4K disc. All right. And it also, if you're a fan of the original artwork, a reverse cover art of the original artwork, which is typically what I do with these limited editions. I'll put the, the alternate art on the inside case. And there is lobby card reproductions from the movie here. You also have almost a 60 page booklet on American Werewolf in London. These are great. It's awesome matte finish on this. And it's, you know, pretty much the entire story about the making of the movie. <clears throat> you know, the contents of this, Craig Ian Mann, Simon Ward, Jordan R. Fox. Like I said, it's 58 pages and is a great read. So you got that included too. And of course, everyone loves me in particular. If I had wall space, they would be all over my wall. Check this out, man. This is the newly commissioned artwork. Look at that. Now, how cool is that? That's included as well. And this, the last I looked, this edition is like $32 on Amazon. That's a hell of a price for this. I mean, this is a lot of goodies in here at 30, 32 bucks. This is by far the ultimate edition of American Werewolf in London. You will want to check it out. It just came out this week. Check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.